Hello and welcome to part 4 of this tutorial series. In this part, we are going to discuss job parameters. In most cases, you will need to set some job parameters when you build the job. For example, you might want to pass the user ID of the user who starts the job, some credentials that the job will need, etc. Quartz allows you to set job parameters when you build the job using the job builder. All you have to do is call the method using job data and pass in the key and the value for that parameter. The using job data method will accept only the following primitive types strings, ints, longs, float, double, and booleans. Let's try and set some parameters for our job. We are going to set two parameters username and password just so we can demonstrate the usage. Now that we set the parameters here, we need to access them inside the simple job class. Let's head to our simple job class and in here, we are going to access our parameters. Let's look at the sample of getting our job parameters. First, we declare the job data map, which we get from context.jobdetails.jobdatamap. Inside here reside our parameters. To get them, all we have to do is call datamap.getString in our case. If the parameter was any different type, we would use other methods like get integer or get boolean, etc. Let's output username and password to the output window so we can see if our parameters are being passed correctly. Let's remove this message and print the following message where we inject username and password to the output string. Let's run the application. Let's click a start simple job. And we see in the output window that simple job executed with username devhow and password security. You also might want to set complex object as parameters for our job. Let's head to our models and create an object to use it for our parameter. Let's name it job user parameter. Let's add two properties, username and password, so we can use it for our parameters. Let's save it and head out to our start simple job action. Setting complex properties is a little different than setting simple properties. We have to set them directly on the job details object. To set a complex property, we go to job, add job data map, and we put an object inside it. Let's name it user and create a new instance of job user parameter with username and password, same as we did with using job data. Now, let's head out to our simple job class and access this property. We can access the complex property just like we did the simple properties. The only thing different is that we use get and we have to cast the object to our specific type. In our case, it's job user parameter. We need to add the using quartz examples.models and get the user parameter. Now let's test this out. Instead of username, let's do user.username and user.password. Let's run the application. Let's start the job. And we have the same results. Simple executed with username devhow and password security exclamation point exclamation point. That's it for setting parameters to our job. Next we will look setting parameters to our triggers which we will be passing on to our jobs. 